Yo! Hello? Anybody home? What, you daydreaming again? <laughs> Number of times I've seen you looking up at this wall, I told you you'd make it to the big show. Now here we are. UFC debut right around the corner. All right. UFC promo crew's back here. We're gonna do an interview in a few minutes. But first, I need you to fill out this release form. Height, weight, nickname, Bruce Buffer, he's gonna need all of that, right? You two ready for the interview? Yeah. All right. Actually, before we begin, and this is off the record. No. Uh -oh. <laughs> I just hear there's an interesting story about how you two started working together. <laughs> Yo, he wants to hear about your first fight. <laughs> I hear it's a good one. He hates when I tell the story, but oh man, I will never forget the first time I saw this kid. He was getting busted up. He looked like a zombie. It was one of those, let's say, amateur cards you can find across town from time to time. Great fights, never know if you're gonna see something special. Right, so yeah, this kid caught my eye because his eye was all busted up and bruised. Well, it was a total mismatch. It was obvious that the opponent was way more experienced. This kid took a beating for two rounds. Okay, probably both 10-8s. They could have stopped the fight easy, but the bell sounds to start the third round. And this kid is still coming forward. He's still fighting as if he thought that maybe he had a chance. There was no chance. <laughs> Here we go, people. It is time for some UFC for my career. And we are facing a guy we just practically need to run from because he's invincible. He is legitimately invincible last time I checked. I don't think I've ever seen anyone able to beat him. I hate that this whiff, like... Like, this is one thing I don't like, because look at that whiff. Does practically nothing to the stamina, like that is ridiculous. I feel like they need to change the stamina system to be more like I haven't personally felt it, but I've watched it and it I forget which game it was from, but there was a stamina system where like the stamina would like regain in between rounds, but it would, like when you use stamina it would practically permanently go down until the end of the round. There was no of this secondary thing with the three gen. Like, I feel like that would be a great thing to just add instead. Because right now it just feels so... Unsatisfying, in all honesty. Because it takes forever to work down someone's stamina in this game, unless you're just sparring, like, knockout potential moves, what kind of makes other playstyles practically useless. Jeez, I got I got hit hard. Okay, there we go. Got him on the ground. This will practically make it so I could have told him it. Bad. But at least I can just pretty much hold him here. Where is he gonna go? Where is this boy gonna go? Like, if the game won't let you leave here, like, I've never seen any real players able to block like that in this position. At least easily. Kid loses the fight. Bad. 
This isn't one of those stories where you find someone amazing out in the middle of nowhere just knocking people out. No. I just found a kid with a heart like I'd never seen, so I reached out. Good, good. Five more seconds. Let's go. Work. Work. Three, two, one. And time. Beautiful. <laughs> hey, 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 look who it is. Hey, welcome to my gym, where champions are made. I could tell from that last fight, you got tons of heart, so I'm not surprised to see you back at it so soon. And you got great physical ability, too. Thanks. Now we just got to work on that technique a little bit. <laughs> All right? Okay. Some people think that fighting is simple like checkers, but you and I, we know better, right? It's more like chess. You have to have all the right pieces and know how to use them. All right, the masters make it look simple, but it takes hard work and an open mind. I've seen you fight, so I know you got what it takes. Go get ready, come back and meet me here. All right. All right, welcome. Thank you. All right, let's go, back at it. Get it. Yeah, good. I know this seems pretty basic. You already know this, but I always like to start with boxing fundamentals, right? Because in this game, if you don't know how to throw them hands, put together some combinations, and manage your stamina, you're going to end up hitting nothing but air and sucking wind. That's true. So, listen to my voice. I'm going to call out some instructions. You follow. Good? Good. Let's go. All right. Just power on the bag now. Listen to my call outs. Okay, here we go. Left. Right. Left. Here we go. Hooks now. Go let's go now with a basic and strike. I have to admit, like this is go. probably one of the This is a pretty good opening. Good. good. Like, I do I like here all the cutscenes and that, like how the game good. gives New a bit set. of character to it, I guess you could say. Gives a bit of character to the game. Awesome job. Let's move on. Now let's focus on overhands. All right, all right, connect some punches together. All right, all right, swap your focus to the next set. Great, let's do another. Okay, kid, bring it in. That's some good work. Now, let's see how that technique holds up against a live sparring partner. Now, here, the name of the game is hit and don't get hit, right? The sweet science. Easy to say, hard to do. So, hands up, use your feet. Let's go. All right, let's get in there and move. Okay, here we go. Block. Too bad he's not aggressive enough for this to really be a quick thing. Now focus on blocking all attacks. Are well, you just whiff there? All right, all right. Work on your slips now. Head movement, head movement, head movement, head movement. Hey, awesome job. Now let's move. I wonder on. if anyone recognizes that meme. Oh, that right there. is beautiful. All right, I like it. Drop your focus to the next set. Oh. Awesome job. Let's move on. Yes, yes. Nice combination. Now press forward. Now, focus on punches. Beautiful combination. I love it. Keep it up. Put the pressure on him. Technique is solid. Amazing what a little coach it can do. <laughs> All right, okay, listen up. Just got a text about another amateur fight card coming up. All right, the opponent's a pretty basic brawler, so you'll pick him apart with what you just learned. I hope you're ready, because I already said we'll take the fight. <laughs> oh, okay. You sure? Uh, yeah. You good? I'm good. My man, let's go. <laughs> Yo, kid, here we are. First real amateur fight. I don't count that last one, but you weren't training with me. All right, remove that from your memory. 
Your journey starts right here in this parking lot. Fighting for no money. <laughs> but where it ends, the sky's the limit. All right? So relax. Yeah, breathe. Put the work in already. Let's go have some fun. You ready? Ready. And let's go eat. Okay, here we go. Our first official match. No longer a nobody with no skill. We're gonna go in and just annihilate this guy with some body shots because he's just gonna stand there and take it. Because the AI in this is just really for you to test your combos practically. I just find it interesting that you can just throw in this game and not run out of stamina. That's one thing that does annoy me. It feels like you could just throw and throw. I think I might have mentioned this already, but it truly does irritate me. It's like, I should not just be able to, like, if I'm in a clinch, okay, I get where I can throw more. But when it's like in the pure stand-up, it's just like, why can I just keep throwing? Why can I just throw a billion hooks and not have any hit to my stamina? Like, if you're, like, hitting constantly with your whip in, like, 24-7, it does seem a bit weird. Oh, he counted. Oh, he, he rolled anyway. No, 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 no. Head movement, head movement, head movement, head movement, head movement, come on! Give me head movement! Ah, oh, I went so quick, I did not want to do that. Doesn't matter. Oh, did you decide now was the time to turn it up? You start, you decide when your face literally looks like batter, that it's time to turn it up. What was that? My leg went fancy right there. But yeah, I'm thinking of going the Jack Dempsey route. Just head, high head movement, high power, high speed, and the speed pretty much rush in and try and go for a massive counter shot. That's probably what I'm going to be seeking. So I wish like they just allowed you to prop more customize your characters outside of career mode, and they just gave you a limit of how many points you could spend. All right, kid, I know we kept it pretty simple, but if we start mixing in some kicks into your arsenal, then we'll see how dangerous your striking game really is. Use those long limbs to attack the opponent's legs, body, and head, and do it from a distance, controlling the range. Snap from the hips, keep it loose. Sound good? Yeah. All right, let's go. All right, gonna hit some leather today. I'll call it out. You throw. Okay, so throwing some kicks now. Okay, okay, let's see some high kicks. Now we're going for the head. Nice kick to the head. Just smooth body. Give me some body kicks. Go. And then to the body. To the body. To the body. Switch stance. Let's see it. Shuffle, 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 let's shuffle. Go. Throw some elbows now. Oh, I love that. I love that. The shuffle in. Let's swap to knees. Oh, I need to block. Here we go. Mix your kicks in with some combos. Good, good. Moving on now. Good work. Next set now. Nice strike. That'll keep him honest. Good, good. Bring it in, kid. That was light work for you. Now let's test those moves out and spar. Now be sure to watch for those kicks coming back at you now, too. All right. You ready? Let's go. Okay. Oh, block my head. Okay. Let's see some blocks now. Nice block. 
That was great. Let's do another. Come on, kick my leg. Kick my leg. Do it. Do it. Do it. Kick my leg, boy. Okay. Throw some leg kicks. Now my turn. Sit. Keep those combos coming. Okay. Okay, I want to see high kicks. You like those head kicks? You like those head kicks, don't you? you ready? To the body now. You kicks. live for these kicks. Stop running. Stop running. Keep pushing. All right. Focus on ending combos with a kick. Okay. Clinch and give him no room. Okay. Show me some clinch action. Here we go. Now block everything. Don't let him hold you in the clinch. Get off me. Okay, okay. Looking pretty good. I see some shades of Anderson Silva in there. I like what I see. Okay, listen up. I got a line on another amateur bout coming up. Bit of a step up in opponent, more of a well-rounded striker, but nothing you can't handle if you keep putting in this kind of work. All right, you got it? Got it. Good, let's go. Jewelers make killers. All right. Look, yeah. All right, all right. It's a full house tonight. I'm looking for a show. So let's go out there and let's give them one. Where we expanded your arsenal. So let's use all those weapons now, all right? Control the range, set up your kicks, use your combinations. Good, good, yeah, you got this. All right. Good, good, all right. Let's go. Okay, right. here we go. Here we go. Why does no one wanna shake my hand? Back up, head movement, head movement, head movement. Oi, 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 hey, mate. Chill out with the sweep.
go down to face that strike. I'm just going to add that kick there. Now he's the wide around pretty much because he just has a chin of steel apparently. Like kidneys and chins of steel. Ready? Are you ready? Oh my goodness, my arms are so tiny! I can't hit anything because they're just so tiny! You want kicks? Okay, let's give you a kick! Head movement! Head movement! Head movement, head movement, head movement, head movement. Give me head movement, boy. Give me head movement. All right, that's good. Bring it in. Yeah, you probably heard this a thousand times. Wrestling is the best space for an MMA fighter. Look, I don't know if that's true 100% of the time, but what I do know is that if you're the better wrestler, then you dictate what a fight takes place. You can keep it standing, or you can take it to the ground, and then your opponent has to adapt. Okay, that is the power of wrestling. Got it? Got it. All right, you ready to embrace the grind? Ready. All right, then let's go. Takedowns, takedowns, takedowns. What are we doing today? That's okay, right. So out to the square or triangle. Okay. Let me see you protect those legs against a takedown. Okay, go for it. All right. That's how you stop a shot. Let's Again, go. my friend. Now this is proper sparring, not the okay. stuff that you get later Here we on. Go. Like absolutely Push for some ridiculous. That's it. That's the way you put him on his back. Come on, keep going. All right. Punches and bunches. Give me the body. Yeah, yeah. Keep that up. All right, all right. Swap the focus to the next set. Okay, clinch and give him no room. Okay, here we go. Shoot for some takedowns now. Nice, working there. You got some solid technique. But if you ask me, in the end, it all comes down to who wants it more. Right? Which fighter's gonna keep grinding until the other one quits? I know you're not a quitter, and I got you a chance to prove it against another amateur opponent. A decent wrestler. You got what it takes to win. You got the skills to pay the bills, right? Yeah. All right. Great work today. Thanks. Okay. The only part of the MMA game we haven't covered. Submissions. All right. I know you've done some rolling before, but look. Even if you don't want to learn how to tap people out with chokes and arm bars, you damn sure need to know how to defend against them. Okay, you don't want Herb Dean waking you up in the middle of the octagon. Trust me. All right, so we'll start with the basics. Repetition is the mother of all skill. Drill, drill, drill. Got it? Got it. Good, let's see it. All right. Let's see what you got today. Speed and power. Okay, That's so... It. Go shoot for the takedown. Okay. Now ground. use your jujitsu to get the tap. Nice work. Lock him down. Beautiful arm bar. Uh, uh. 
give up all right speed. all right and now once you're that standard of ping back up despite being so heavily used is all ridiculous. right all right show me your submission defense skills now no you can't just lay on top all right you got to create action you got to improve that position got it let's improve that position Keep working. That was a weird submission, like set up. That's what I want to. <laughs> nice work in there. Looks like you've done some of this before. Eh? <laughs> Doesn't matter. All that matters is if you keep putting in this kind of work, your opponent will definitely have to worry about those submissions. That's going to open up all your other weapons. Total package, right? Yeah. All right, let's go. Yeah. All right, kid. Our work is done. Now it's time to have fun. This is the moment we've been waiting for. You gonna seize it? Yeah. Good. Your striking is better than theirs. Yeah. Your ground game is better than theirs. Yeah. Your coach is better looking than theirs. Maybe. <laughs> you come a long way. All right, you win this one, you got a shot at the contender series. Then the fun really starts. You hungry? Yeah. Then let's go. <gasps> okay, here Ready. we go. This should be a bit Wait. more of a complete fight. This guy is also a wrestler. But I'm planning to come in and dominate him. I'm gonna give him a second to breathe. Let's give him some nasty, dirty boxing. Keep him close. Make the fight quick. Make it mean. Make the fight quick and mean. Get that hook up in there. Oh, he's got me down to the ground now. He's trying to hold me here. Oh! This made us be quick like I said, but not for the reason I said. I wanted to knock out, but I'll take a submission if I can. I'm gonna make this boy tap to a shock. People forget my guy got some wrestling. He got some wrestling background. But these people are so cocky. These people are so self-centered with their wrestling ability. Don't realize they're facing a guy who can wrestle circles around them and nearly break their arm if they allow them to. Like, look at that takedown. Tries to move a bit. Tries to escape. Gets torn in armor. You can see his face turning red from the stress, and he's like, "Oh, oh, I, I can't anymore. I gotta quit. My arm's gonna break." How does that feel? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's right. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so we have got the training section right here, people. We have the fitness and all that. Of course, no sponsorship. So, we'll hand out flyers. Post a social media. We can stream a sparring session. I don't feel like doing that right now. But we have posted for my last fight, like what I did to that man. So, interesting. Anyway, so what should we upgrade first? We have foot, I feel like I move real slow. I want to have like that four star footwork. And then I need to start the punching speed. So I'll get that up to four star. And then I would, I, I can't really upgrade anything else. Though so you get two things up to four star pretty early. So they are really good things to have high level I would say. 
very good things to have high level. And since jabs are available, we're going to go after the jabs. All right, some sweet science. Let's go. Ooh, huge punch. That was huge. That must have hurt. I like that. More of that, okay? Drill, drill, drill. There we drill. go. Now. Why? Now we can just fire off. Repetition is the mother of all over. skill. That's why. Let's go. More. Okay, more of that. Like, pretty much what I'm just trying to do here is increase my jabbing ability. Like, That's it still now, so right there. weak in this game, I'm going to be honest. Like, All it feels right, like a move that doesn't left. do what it's meant to anymore. Because jab's entire purpose is to, like, sort of gauge distance, open up for, like, a straight or a hook or something, an overhand. But for some reason, they've made oh, it so, wow. like, it wow. no longer yes. really does that. That punch damaged. Yes. Let's go. Feels like jabs are a lot weaker than it used to be. Just gonna be honest. Okay, apparently it's disconnecting me from service for some reason. Don't know why. There we go. To next week we go now. Pretty much, I think it's just the same if I remember right. Like, yeah, it's pretty much there are some things you might get like talking to someone. But mostly, unless something like that pops up, I'm just gonna quickly... Skim through this and we'll be back when we're in the fight, people. Okay, so I did overtrain a bit for this fight, but it shouldn't have any super negative effects because, let's be honest, this is going to be a first round knockout. I'm going to go in and I'm going to bomb. That simple. I'm not going to give him a chance. We're just going right in. Wait. I love. Oh, here we go, man. Nice finally get that to work for one. Oh, he's retreating. He's retreating. He's a bit panicked. You can see it in his face. He's panicked at these vicious hooks incoming. These aren't even powerful yet. I can only imagine what they're going to be like when they got some power behind them. Here we go, raining down the doomsday, raining down the punches, head movement, head movement, come on mate, remember, head movement. Come on, Get, yeah, there we go with the big bomber. As I go for these overhands. Oh, yeah, he realizes it and he tries to escape. Oh, goodness. I'm going to be held here for an eternity, ain't I? Because he's just going to be holding me and spamming these. Ugh. Get off me. Yeah. How much do you weigh? Did they, did they test if you're overweight? Because I... There's no way me and this guy are in the same weight class. Get down. Get down. Give me that head movement. Give me some head movement. Head movement. Head movement. I'm just 
to be shouting at every single one of my opponents, telling them to give me head movement while I just bomb their skull in. Like, if that guy ain't drunk punch after that many shots of the skull, I don't know what will be. Well, those series of positive comments right there, I guess it's a good place to end the episode here with our first official win in MMA. Because we did a bunch of amateurs, now we're officially in what you'd call the minor leagues. And we're a two-star fighter, I'm sure in short time we'll be in that two-star, up to a three, then a four, and then we'll be leaving as five-star as we pretty much have the fifth of destiny. And we're going to keep working until our punch is the most feared thing in MMA. Just walking into that giant hook. But till that day, we gotta keep grinding. So I'll see you in the next one, people.